Hi boys and girls, I'm back. I want to talk to you a little bit today about building sentences. We've been working on this for a little while now. So first I want to remind you that a sentence has to make sense, right? It has to look right and sound right. And a sentence is made up of words, right? We put words together to make a sentence. And the sentence has to make sense. It has to sound right and look right to us. And it also has to be something that we can understand. Okay, so we're going to work on building some sentences today. All right, so I have some words and I'm going to put them up. Okay, so I have some words that I just created here for us, and we're going to read them. Alrighty, the first word let's sound it out. S w ing. Oh yeah, I see i n g. I know i n g says ing. All right, let's sound that out again. Swing. Swing. And we know this word is I. We know it's a letter, but when it looks like this and it's all by itself, we know that it is a word. I. And we know this word, it's a heart tricky sight word. If you don't know it, we might be able to sound this one out. And. And. And then I have another word. Let's sound it out. D -e -b. Deb. Swing, I, and Deb. Does that make sense? Does that sound right? Does it look right? No, it does not. We have to put the words in the right order to make it make sense. So if we kept it like this, it would look and sound like this. Swing, I, and Deb. Swing, I, and Deb. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. So remember what we talked about. When you have to put words in order to make a sentence like this, first let's take a look at our words. We know that in the beginning of a sentence, it has to start with an uppercase, capital letter, right? An adult letter. So. Let's look at this word, swing. Is that an uppercase capital S? No, it's not. So he's not going to be the first word, is he? Okay, so he won't be first. Let's look at this one. Is this an uppercase capital word? Well, letter? Yeah, it's a word, but it's also a letter. But guess what? It's an uppercase capital. It's going to go in the front. And we know that good readers read from left to right. So when we're writing sentences and reading them, we have to start on the left and we end it on the right. So we have I. And. D -eb Deb. I and. Deb swing. I and Deb swing. I and Deb swing. Does that make sense? Kind of. Does it sound right though? I don't think it sounds right. Do you hear people talk like that? I and Deb swing? No, that doesn't sound right. Maybe we still need to switch the words around some. Hmm. Does this one have an uppercase capital? No, and that word is and. And guess what, I have a secret for you. We do not start sentences with the word and. So we, you will never see a sentence start with and. No, that won't make sense. So this is not going to be the first word, okay? We know that swing is not going to be the first word because it's not an uppercase capital. And we just tried I. Ooh, let's look at this word. D -eb. Deb, that's a name. That is a girl or a woman's name, Deb. And do you see an uppercase capital? I do. And we know that names have to have an uppercase capital, but maybe this word is going to start our sentence. Let's try it. 
Deb, I, and swing. Deb, I, and swing. Deb, I, and swing. Does that make sense? No. Does it sound right? No. That's silly, isn't it? Oh, let's keep moving them around and let's see which one makes sense. Deb, I, and swing. Oh, let me do this. Let me change these around. How about this one? Ready? Deb, swing, and I. Deb, swing, and I. Deb, swing, and I. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't make sense. Uh-oh, let me, let me keep looking. Oh, I think I know. I think I figured it out. Deb and swing I. Deb and swing I. No. Oh, let me switch these two around. I think I got it now. Here we go. Let's try it. Deb and I swing. Copy me, boys and girls. Deb and I swing. Deb and I swing. Deb and I swing. Does it sound right? It does. Does it make sense? Yes, it makes sense because I can understand what it means. And what does it mean? It means that a girl or a woman named Deb swung on a swing with somebody, right? Deb and I swing. So if you're the one reading, saying the sentence to somebody, then it's you that went on the swing with Deb. Everybody say, copy me, ready? Me first. Deb and I swing. Your turn. And that makes sense and it sounds right. Deb and I swing. Now, we know that the beginning of a sentence has to have an uppercase capital. We have spaces between our words. And who remembers what goes at the end of a sentence? There are three things that could go at the end of a sentence. There could be a question mark, which is when we ask a question. There could be a period, which is at the end of a sentence of a telling sentence where we just put a period as a stop sign. That's after we tell something. It's a statement sentence. And then we have an exclamation mark. An exclamation mark looks like an upside down eye, doesn't it? And it looks like this. And the exclamation mark is when you say something, when the sentence has a strong feeling or emotion. Like if you're afraid or if you're frightened or scared or if you're super excited about something, that's when we put the exclamation mark. So we've got question mark if it's a question, period if it's a statement or a telling sentence, or an exclamation mark if you're excited or scared about something and it's a strong feeling. So which one do you think is going to go at the end of this sentence? Deb and I swing. Let's try the question mark. Oh, it won't fit. Let me cut it. Let's try it. Deb and I swing. Deb and I swing? Is that a question? That's not a question. If the sentence said, will Deb and I swing? Or can Deb and I swing? Or do you know how to swing? Or can Deb swing? That's a question. This is not a question sentence. They're not asking a question. They're telling us something. Deb and I swing. That's a statement sentence. It's just telling us something. So no, it's not going to be a question mark. It's not a question. Is it going to be an exclamation mark? Let's see. Is it going to be an exclamation mark? Deb and I swing. Deb and I swing. It could be. But 
I don't think that that's a really big, strong emotion. Not like, yay, we're going to the fair. That would be an exclamation mark. Or, oh no, it's lightning. That would be an exclamation mark. Or, ah, you scared me. That would be an exclamation mark. This doesn't sound like it's a big, strong feeling. So we're not going to put the exclamation mark there. Nope. It is just a telling sentence, a statement sentence that tells us something. And what does it tell us? Deb and I swing. And that is the one that we will use. These are called punctuation marks. So this is the punctuation mark we will use, a period, the stop sign for the reader at the end of this sentence. So remember, boys and girls, sentences have to make sense. They have to sound right. They have to look right, you have to be able to understand it, the meaning, and you have to make sure that a sentence has an uppercase capital in the beginning, spaces between our words, punctuation mark at the end, which will be a period, question mark, or exclamation mark. In this sentence, it's a period. Deb and I swing. Good job. Thanks for helping me today, boys and girls. You brought this paper home yesterday, and this paper has different words. And what you're going to do is exactly what we've been doing in the classroom with these sentences. You're going to create and build the sentence. Before you glue it, make sure that it makes sense and you have all of those words in the correct order. Do it the same way we do here at school. First thing you do is write your name with a pencil first and last name okay right here you're going to cut out the words first then you're going to put you're going to place them here and you're going to move them around like i did with mine and you have to find out how they make sense what order do they go in remember they go left to right and they have to make sense don't forget what I taught you about those clues. In the beginning, it has to be an uppercase capital letter. In the ending, it has to have a punctuation mark, either a period or an um, exclamation mark or a question mark. So those are some clues for you to help you with this one. So make sure that you have them nice and neat in order. They look right and sound right. They make sense. And when they do, then you can glue. If you don't have glue at your house, maybe you might have tape, you can tape it. If you don't have tape or glue, and maybe you don't have scissors and you can't cut these out, you don't have to, you can just get a pencil and you can write it for me, okay? Put the words in order and write the correct sentence, okay? So after, if you can cut and glue, then go ahead and do that, great. Cut, glue them in order how they go right here. And then on the lines, you're going to write it nice and neat. Don't forget your finger spaces between those words. After you do that, you get to draw a picture of the sentence to show me that you understood what it meant. Keep up the great work, boys and girls. I'm so proud of you. You are growing those brains and learning how to create, build, and read and write sentences. Super proud of you. Bye.